With each new version of Photoshop, there is always a lot of interest as to what will be the next new star features in the program. With Photoshop CS4, we had the Content Aware Scaling feature that allowed you to uh, intelligently rescale images uh, in ways that couldn't be done before. With Photoshop CS5, we have a new uh, development uh, called Content Aware, uh, Content Aware Filling, which is available as a spot healing brush option as well as a fill option. And to begin with, I'm going to show you the use of the spot healing brush um, in conjunction with the new Content Aware Fill uh, mode, which you can see selected up here in the Tool Options bar. And to begin with, I'm going to work in the Normal mode. And over here, you can see in the Layers panel, I've added an empty new layer so that with the Sample or Layers option checked, I can apply the retouching to this empty layer so that it can be turned on and off without actually harming the background layer. And before I get started, let me just show you the finished result that I achieved earlier when I had time to carefully uh, retouch this photograph using mainly the spot healing brush with a little bit of help from the, the old uh, healing brush itself. So to start with, to show you how this works, I've got the normal mode selected up here, which is the best mode to work on doing the main cables at the top. So to do this, if I hold down the shift key as I click at the top and then click down here, I can start by just removing these lines from the picture. Just hold down the shift key and then just remove some of those bits. And if that doesn't do it straight away in one go, then I can just switch over to working with the normal healing brush just to tidy up some of those areas around there. And then I'll revert now back to working with the spot healing brush again in content aware fill mode and then retouch out this big cable here. And then this one. And then coming back here, I might just try and tidy up that area there to make that look more smooth. And now this, finally this big cable coming through across the skyline. So that takes care of the main uh, cables going across the sky. If I now switch blend modes and go down to the replace blend mode, I can try retouching out the uh, bits here where they overlap the horizon line and just simply just drag down across here. If it doesn't work right the first time, then you can always use the Command Z on the Mac or Control Z on the PC just to keep redoing until you get a more successful uh, result. And the idea here when you're working with the Replace Blend mode is just to use small strokes rather than using too big a stroke. And I can probably make the brush size a little bit smaller. Now as I start retouching out these cables, you'll notice that I'm just going to keep checking what I'm doing as I drag across the image, watching the results, and then if I need to redo it, as I explained before, I can just use the Command Z on the Mac or Control Z on the PC just to undo those brush strokes. But as you can see, it doesn't take too much difficulty just to work through these areas, getting rid of the cables. Sometimes it helps to do brush strokes that go 90 degrees across the line that I'm trying to remove here. And now let me deal with the big line over here. Let's get rid of this cable. And um, at this stage, I think I'll leave it and just say that I think you can see already that just by doing some very rough uh, retouching without spending too much care, um, you can see how easy it is to work with this tool to get rid of the, the lines. Now, if I just switch that layer off and then come to the finished example, here you can see one where I had a little bit more time to spend working on the image and was able to achieve a really good uh, retouch to get rid of all the cables that were in that original version. So that's just an introduction to working with the spot healing brush in content aware mode. As I said, the two main modes to think of using are the normal mode for dealing with the, um, the cables in the sky area, um, where I was using long strokes, and then for doing the more tricky work where the, where the cables overlapped the detail of the rocks and the, and the other scenery, I switched to replace mode and used some smaller brush strokes. So I'm going to close that photograph down now and then open up a another image example. Um, that last one, by the way, is an image that you can get hold of on the DVD if you want to try that out for yourself. 
and you can also access this image as well here and what I'm going to do now is show you um, before and after this was the before and this was the after image that I created it, this required a little bit more work, but uh, what I want to show you is the uh, content aware fill and how effective this can be at uh, doing the majority of the uh, the filling work uh, before doing the finishing work, working with the uh, healing brush in this instance. And so what I'm going to do here is, with this layer uh, active, is choose this uh, lasso tool up here to create a polygon uh, lasso outline. So I'm just going to click around here just to follow the outlines of this Punch and Judy booth and then finish off the selection there and all I need to do now is just hit the delete key which has the options that you'd be familiar with before in the fill dialog to fill with a foreground color, background color etc but now by default the content aware option is selected so that if I click OK it will now attempt to fill the area that I have selected using the information that's in the image. And if I just deselect that selection, you can see now that it's not done a bad job of actually having a, an attempt to um, fill in the detail there. It's not perfect yet, but it's done pretty much most of the work. And all you need to do now is to use the normal healing brush and the spot, uh, sorry, the clone stamp tool to finish off this image just to get a more convincing uh, retouch and then look out for any repeating patterns in the image. And then with that work done you can see that here is the finished result. So let's now look at a further example of working with the content aware fill. In this image you can see a photograph taken of this arch where there was a photographer also taking a photograph here in the scene and then over here there's some steps leading up to the path which stand out. Uh, I'm going to show you a different approach now to working with the content aware fill where if I select the brush tool and then hit the Q key to switch to the quick selection mode down at the bottom here if I then just paint over the areas that I want to remove you can see the red overlay that helps me see which areas I want to have selected. I need to include the shadow here and also over here on the right, these are the, here are the steps that I wanted to remove. So I'll paint over those. And then once I'm satisfied that I've selected the main areas that I wanted to remove from the picture, if I hit the Q key again, it will now change to the selection mode. And if I go to the select menu at the top and choose inverse, that leaves me with, an, with a selection of just the areas that I want to erase. Again, I just hit the delete key which brings up the fill dialog with content aware as the default option. Hit enter to say OK to that and then Photoshop will calculate how to fill in those selected areas. And here you can see the finished result. If I just hide those selections for now you can see that over here on the right it's done a pretty good job of filling in that area. And it's not too bad over here on the left, but as before in the previous example, one would probably want to take the clone stamp and work with the healing brush just to tidy up those areas to do the finishing work to make it look more convincing. So let me close down that photograph too and then come last of all to this example. And this is a panorama image that was created from a number of images that have been stitched together using the photo merge feature in Photoshop. And if you're familiar with using this um, uh, feature, you'll know that um, it's quite typical that you'll end up with a panorama image where you end up with these areas around the border where um, you know, the, uh, it wasn't able to fill in all of the areas. And normally what you would do would be to select the crop tool and crop within the uh, image to get the finished um, uh, photo merge panorama. But what happen, look what happens when you now select the Magic Wand tool. So if I just select the Magic Wand tool here, and with a tolerance of 3, for example, just with a low tolerance, I can quickly make a selection of all of the white areas. And then if I hide that selection and hit the Delete key, Content Aware Fill comes up as a default option in the Fill dialog. I hit Enter. And then you can see what happens when Photoshop calculates how to fill in the missing pieces.
here's the finished result, which um, is not bad at all. Um, I'm quite pleased with the way it managed to work out how to continue the uh, clouds up here into the sky. And the only fault that I can see with at the moment is perhaps some repeating patterns over here, which again, as in the previous two examples, would require use of the healing brush or the clone stamp tool just to tidy those up. But um, all in all, a pretty impressive feature. And I've tried this out on quite a number of um, panorama images created with Photo Merge, and it does a pretty good job on almost, uh, in almost every case. So there you have it, uh, two, uh, so a few examples showing how to work with the spot healing brush in content aware mode and also how to work with the uh, fill command using content aware and as i explained the first two images that you saw me working with are also available for you to access on the dvd